Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And I want to try something different, and that is going to be using a particular mobile suit for the Dawn of Mass production uh, multiplayer event. So, I was like, you know what? What, what, what MS am I going to use? Got to use something special, something near and dear to my heart. And lo and behold, I discovered that I am going to use the Age 1 Normal. As bad as this mobile suit is, I just really need to do it. I, I need to use it. So we're going to go through normal, hard, and very hard um, in, in hopefully a timely manner. Uh, just so that way we can try our best to get through all these missions with our favorite, well, my favorite, MS. Now this is what we're working with. Everything is golden. We do use Flit. Uh, he is going to be an end fighter, which I don't really think is that amazing. Um, you know, his stats are very, very mediocre. And all the parts for the most part aren't really that great the best thing you're gonna have is going to be the age one normal head but that's pretty much it and i wanted to use a beam saber because you know using something like the mace just really wouldn't look good but yeah we got a couple people here so i'm ready to sorting all right here we go now this is more like gonna be super super easy since we are on the easiest mode all right we're doing absolute shit for damage. <laughs> right, let's get that combat stance going. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is actually my first time ever doing this mission. Uh, mainly because uh, every time I try to do it during the beta, it would not work. Alright, cool. We got that down. Oh, Trans Am Raid. So yeah, uh, I'm 100% certain everyone carried me <laughs> in this entire thing. Um, but yeah, that was pretty easy. Alright, we're right back in it. Ugh, this is hard mode though, so don't know how well I'm going to do, but I'm going to do my best. Ah, I should have did that backwards. I should have uh, did the combat stance first, and then the uh, beam daggers. All right, and lock on. There we go. Come on, come on, get down. We got plenty of sport. There we go. Oh. Man, everyone's just coming out with all their craziness, and here I am with some beam daggers. Oh, he has an age body. That's pretty dope. Let's get some of that uh, combat stance going. All right, so we already got the big Zam about half, well, a little less than halfway. All right, and we're almost done. There we go. And you're almost done. Alright, I'm gonna get that combat stance. Get them beam daggers. Oh, I should activate the uh, end fighter first. Look at look how trash of damage he's doing. Oh, still one of my favorites though. But definitely not something to bring into a, uh, a multi-mission, like, ever. Still not taking any damage. That's always a good thing. Like, we're helping out by not dying. There we go. Is that it? Oh, there we go. And it is completed. My boy. My boy Flit. My age. Age one normal. Man. We was carried throughout that entire thing. All right, guys, so that is pretty much gonna conclude all this because using the H1 normal, like maxing out everything is not gonna allow me to get the CPR, uh, CPWR 
Oh, combat power necessary to get into the very hard mode. So I'm gonna have to just chalk this one up as a loss, but hey, it's okay. We'll do another one in the future to where I am gonna have a over uh, 400,000 combat power. But in the meantime, it was actually pretty fun to use the age one normal with other people. They're probably thinking like, oh my God, this dude's trash. You know, why is he using this? Hey, touche, I really can't uh, you know argue with that, but Hey, that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely thank you all for watching. And if you can, definitely comment, uh, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next in the uh, multi-missions, if a particular kit you know, kind of interests you. But just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try and do that for you guys. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.